Hi everyone. So in today's episode, we will learn about record trigger flow. So let's create a record trigger flow and learn how it works and how we can take benefits of it. So let's click on the new flow button. And here's the one we are talking about. We are talking about record trigger flow. Let's see what it says. It launches when a record is created, updated or deleted. This auto launch flow runs in the background. So basically record triggered flow means uh, whenever a record will be created, updated or deleted, then what happens? We tell the flow that uh, do this, this, this when an account will be created or do this thing when an account will be deleted. So that is uh, what record triggered flow is all about. And this flow does not need any user interaction and it will uh, just run in the background and do its work. Let's just create one. So in today's example, what we'll do is we will uh, create an opportunity whenever a new account will be created. OK, so uh, first of all, it will just show you the configuration screen in which first it will ask you the object name, which object name select the object whose record will trigger this flow when they are created, updated or deleted. So basically it is asking that uh, when should the record triggered flow will work when should the record triggered flow will trigger itself when an account will be created okay so in the object we will type account and after that it is asking configure the trigger trigger the flow when an account is created updated created or updated and deleted we have four options now what we want to do is again we want to create an opportunity whenever an account will be created so a record will be created will be chosen here after that, it is uh, asking for entry conditions. So uh, if you have any entry condition or you just want to create opportunity for every account. OK, so if you want to type like uh, if the billing country is India, then create the opportunity so you can add the conditions from here. But we want to create opportunity for every account that will be created uh, nowards. OK, after that, we have two options. Optimize the flow for fast field updates and action or related records. So uh, let's just not read it and I'll explain it to you in my way, in a simple way. So fast field update is used when you want to update anything in the object that triggered the flow. That means, uh, let's say if the account, let's say when the account will be created, uh, update the billing country to India automatically okay so what we are doing is uh, when we are creating the account we are just updating that account itself like a field in that account so if you want to do that you will use fast field updates other than that if you want to create or update any other object or if you want to do any other action okay so you will use action and related records so basically if you want to update or alter the object that triggered the flow that means account object itself you will use the fast field but if you want to update any other object or if you want to do any other action like sending an email sending a custom notification then we will use action and related records now let's select action and related records because we want to create opportunity that is a different object and let's click on done Okay, after that, this is the start button. This is what you see here. Let's select free form first. Okay, now in the start button, let's just break it down. Uh, it says record triggered flow. Here it tells you on which object it is working and what is the trigger type when a record will be created and optimized for that means the action that we have chosen. Uh, if you have chosen fast field update, it will show you here and we have chosen actions and related records. So it is showing that here. OK, if you want to edit it, if you want to add any condition, you will just uh, click on edit button and this window appears here. Uh, let's just click on done. After that, we have one option, which is add schedule path, which is totally optional. Uh, what this option does is if you want uh, something to be happen immediately after this record triggered flow occurs, which means uh, like we want to create the opportunity immediately. So we will do it here. But if there is something we want to do like after one hour or after one day, then you can use schedule path here in schedule path. You can uh, tell the flow that after two hours of this record triggered flow, 
do this task okay so that task will be done automatically after the two hours of creation of uh, account and opportunity we will not cover this in this topic this is just a basic example or record to cut flow okay so we will just focus on that now what is our example is whenever an account will be created a opportunity of that account should be created also so for creating an opportunity we will take a create record element let's drag it here and name it create opportunity after that it is asking how many records to create we want to create one record of course how to set the values use separate resources create a record of opportunity object select this one after that let's uh, add the fields that are mandatory let's check it here mm, opportunities a new opportunity okay so opportunity name is mandatory so we will enter name i want to add the account name that is created for this opportunity so what we will do is we don't have a get record element so we don't have the account right no that is wrong so whenever a record triggered flow occurs uh, in the start button we have a record variable which is a global variable um which is this so this variable has uh, all the accounts fields uh, that account will trigger this flow okay so in this record variable we have already uh, we already have all the fields of this account so we can just select the account and then we can type name so now we have the account name as the opportunity name after that let's say uh, close date is compulsory so for close date let's add a hard coded value um flow dot current date okay and after that we will add discount percentage because that is mandatory let's say 10 and what else stage stage is mandatory so let's type stage stage name and here you can see all the picked list values of a stage are here so let's see qualification and that is it let's click on done so now we have a create record element which will create an opportunity when whenever an account will be created okay now we don't have to do anything else in this flow uh, this will run in the background and this will uh, do all the work whenever an account will be created so we just need to save it and activate it create opportunity and an account will be created and let's just activate this flow now how to check this and just create an account from here and we will see if an opportunity for this account will be created or not let's click on new and let's name it opportunity account and that is it that's the only mandatory field here let's click on done Okay so if our flow is working fine then the opportunity for that account should be created also let's go to opportunities here and yes there is an opportunity with the name opportunity account let's click here and this one is created with our flow okay so that means our flow is working fine uh, to check this you can go here also no we have done a mistake what we have done is we have not connected the opportunity with the account so uh in the opportunity we have to add the account id as well that's when the opportunity will be uh, connected to the account right so we have missed that uh let's write here record dot id in record we have all the account values so we will have the id as well and let's save it Let's save as and activate it. 
okay so here as you can see in this account there's zero opportunities because we uh, did not connect the opportunity with the account okay now let's just create a new account and now there should be an opportunity for that account um, let's name it ops account and save it okay now uh, this is the detail of ops account now here you see in opportunity we have an opportunity uh, because we have connected uh, that in the account in the flow and if you click on it you will come to the opportunity detail page as well okay so that is how our record triggered flow works whenever a record will be triggered uh, you can add actions to it uh, that can be an update action and delete action or if you want to send an email if you want to send it a uh, notification to a user custom notification to a user you can do that with a record triggered flow so that was today's example for record triggered flow that was today's episode i have some notes uh some ending notes for you keep that in mind and just practice record triggered flow if you have any issues you can just ping me on any social media platforms or on the youtube comment section as well uh, i'll see you in the next episode till then bye bye take care and keep learning